Only when you asked for that wine to be shipped to you did John Fox begin to jump around and see if he could find it for you. In other cases, Fox does, in fact, have a client's wine in his warehouse. The problem is several other clients think it's theirs, too. So John Fox also sold one bottle of wine multiple times. He did this over and over again. And he was very good about it. He didn't get caught. Fox gets away with it because most of his clients are in for the long haul. And only a small minority take delivery. And those who do are often satisfied. It was no obvious red flag initially, other than it took them too long. But too long was always kind of a debatable period of time because of the whole nature of buying wine futures to begin with. It didn't scream out to me that this was some sort of wine Ponzi scheme at the time. So he had this huge juggling act going on by selling one bottle of wine multiple, multiple times. But he managed to get away with it for many, many years. Not only does he get away with it, John Fox prospers beyond his wildest dreams. An all-new American Greed, Mondays, 10 Eastern, CNBC. Get yours. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you'll find videos from all your favorite CNBC shows. Be sure to subscribe by clicking right here. Click on the videos around me and watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.